Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Easy Achievers Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across me as always, Alex. How you doing? Alex, I rushed you to start this podcast for one reason. Why do you have a Pepsi? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I know that you're sitting in your car going, what? A Pepsi? Exactly. I like Pepsi. Why do you have a Pepsi? I like Pepsi. You chose this, correct? Yeah. This wasn't forced upon you. No. no one walked into the house and said, drink this or I will kill you. No, I, I, I grabbed the Mountain Dew. And usually I don't just get one drink. I get about two because I, I drink one then and then I, I use one for later. And I was like, oh, I haven't had a Pepsi in a while. You seem so like a one. fan of the Pepsi products. You just yeah. brought up two of them, one yeah. being Mountain no, Dew, I like, the I'm, other being Pepsi. I like Pepsi products. Now, if I had to choose between one or the other, I'd probably have to go with Coke. But I, I like both. See, I don't believe you because you're such a fan of Mountain Dew that I find that hard to believe that you would choose. But I really like Coca Cola. But see, I like Coke. Is there a specific Coke you like? Uh, I guess I see you drinking any kind of Coke. Yeah, I mean, I drink. I drink. I was in such a disbelief because I sat down and I looked up and I see a Pepsi full. Listen, I fresh is because I just off the Pepsi tree. Yeah. And you just voluntarily drinking it. Look, I voluntarily like my drink caffeine-free Diet Coke. Okay, that's a completely different scenario because your wife has them. I chose she... them, though. Right, but she needs them as well, right? She gets ca- she just needs caffeine-free stuff. Right. I like Diet Coke, and I was like, I but just But you keep... did not buy that of your own volition. You had to technically buy it for her, right? No. So you just bought it for I bought it, so I bought it for me, and then she can drink it as well. Cause I want like I want a diet coke, but if she wants coke, she's caffeine free. So there you go. We come. I don't believe you. <laughs> I got her. I it have just so happened so I have that you Fanta that's caffeine Canfa- free, caffeine and root free. beer for in there for her and ginger ale, which all all they're all caffeine free because she has to be caffeine free. So I want a diet coke though, and I don't want to be. I don't want to have normal coke and then tempt her because you know she can't have it. So I got caffeine free. I see. I see. Yeah. So you did kind of for her choose the caffeine free, right? No, I mean I wanted to help. I I wanted you to. Want I'm to not support forced. Her. Yeah. Okay. I'm not forced. I wanted to. No, that makes sense. I'm and not I saying like, you were forced. Yeah. That was the. I was just saying. I was like, Carly was buying the caffeine free, so you had to have also. But I digress. listen. I drink vanilla Dr Pepper. <laughs> okay. At that work. Sounds disgusting. It's actually really good. Good lord. <laughs> Going back to the podcast that we do is this why you this rushed me to start it yes okay. i couldn't hold it i was okay. laughing so that's why i was laughing so hard okay <laughs> i just saw the pepsi <laughs> and it just, it just blew off no, my one day, day we just have to have a conversation coke product or pepsi products we'll no, have to list sure. them for sure we need to make it easy achievers post credits or something mm-hmm. i don't know so we'll, yep. we'll make up a dumb name for that one too yep. this is where we discuss the previous week in gaming maybe go over a topic or two i'm one of your hosts elijah Again, sitting across from me, Mr. Alex. Check out our podcast on the service of your choosing every Friday. YouTube as well. Give us all the free likes. Give us the subscriptions. Give us the five stars. All the reviews. If you like that even more and you want to help us financially, we appreciate that. You go over to patreon.com slash easy achievers. Going into the week, Alex. Mm. We got a lot of stuff. We've Dude. been busy. Yeah, we Not have. many news specifically, right? But we have personal experiences that we should go over yeah video game wise yes we have a lot we have been doing a lot of stuff but first alex i have a question what yes. you been playing Pleasure. alex yeah i have an even better question mm. what have you been playing with elijah oh, listen this little thing right here as we call oh, the he xbox he elite he controller he series he two click, click. that my friend click, click. is what i've been using oh Though, I've had mine for about a day. You've had yours for roughly three hours. Uh, four hours, right? About I got yeah, it this morning, hours. so give, let's give it just uh, roughly about eight hours, just right. like half a day. Right. So the any if you, uh, let's give it a background. Right. Original Series One drops yep. what two years ago, probably right now. I think so. I think they've gotten a new one every year. So yeah, two years ago, probably the Elite Controller One comes out. Yep. We buy it. Mm-hmm. We love that one. Yep. Right. My favorite controller. I say that all the time. Yep. Xbox One favorite controller. They made the Elite. That became my favorite controller. Yep. <clears throat> the Elite Series Two is now my favorite controller. <laughs> my God. It is perfect. 
in every way. Mm-hmm. And then look, I don't know if you guys can hear that. That's that's that that's that thumbstick taken off. It's really satisfying to do that in like the middle of a game. You just mm-hmm. flip and then right back on. It's just fun. Yeah, I don't know why it's like an like it's like a fidget thing. Like I gotta keep yeah. do, no, taking sure. them off and on. The D pad, the circle one specifically. Yep. I find myself peeling off, putting it back on. No. One of the key features that's new on this controller. Yes, we did pay two hundred dollars to fidget with it. <laughs> one eighty first. It's one, it was one seventy nine. We paid way less than one eighty. Go ahead, sales. The retail price of that is one eighty. Yes. <laughs> um, Moving on. What's it called? Um, which I didn't know until I actually turned it on and mm-hmm. used it. The power button. It's a click. It's yes. not a push. It's anymore. not a full button. If you are a fan of Xbox. Mm-hmm. You know that the <laughs> traditional Xbox One controller, you, you push in the push X, it, and hold it. it goes all the way in. Yeah, this one, like a button, it's, it it yeah. keeps it keeps me on guard. I'm not gonna Dude, lie. Yes. Every time I hit it, I'm like, whoa. Yeah, like it, like it's sorcery. It's like whoa. Yeah, because I have the Sea of Thieves one, and recently it, it felt like it was it, it was sticking, mm. but then it stopped doing it. What'd it was you weird. do to it? I don't know. I was just I went to use it one day. You know it was I mean? just like what'd you do to it? <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I pushed it down. And it stays down, and, and then it slowly rose oh, up. Oh, you got Pepsi in there, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I bet but, you did. It, but it's not doing it anymore now, which is weird. I don't. Maybe it got loose. I don't know. Uh, but now that it, I'm not like, used to loose. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I hit that, and I was like, Whoa, it just Whoa. clicks immediately, right? I love it. And then built-in battery right let's go over a couple features here USB-C. Right? completely rechargeable battery built-in quality battery i feel not the similar situation you have with the ps4 unfortunately my ps4 controllers eventually mm-hmm. die almost immediately because the battery yeah. just goes out that's just bad how batteries now, are now mind you this is the very first rechargeable controller by my microsoft right yes yes yeah. so uh, so, uh, so yeah, far so, so far so good i'm great battery. again i mean first few days but usb-c Yes. I think it's the best part. Oh, yes. Fast charging. Cooler part. The case is the charge. Yeah. So nice. It has you just lay little, it on there. Yep. It has you that little block. It charges. So it pretty much Ladies has the This has been 30 minutes of just ads for <laughs> Elite Control. <laughs> I, it I, just I, makes I, everything so much better. And it's, it's weird. It's the perfect weight. And it's weird because you right. know what the uh, uh, first Elite Controller, they had the, the little switches on the back for the triggers. Mm-hmm. Never used it because I didn't care for how really? it felt. Oh, okay. This one, it mm-hmm. feels better. Feels I have great. it to where it's like the halfway thing because mm-hmm. I tried the all the way one. It was okay. Too much? It, it, I, I get it. Yeah. Because I, I was it. playing Call of Duty. I do I do it all the way. So I, I, it is a lot. It's yeah. like it's like you have no, like you're hitting the button immediately. Yeah. If you, if so you I put it ahead. about halfway just to I can get feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, then I'll push it to where it's just like the instant one. Mm-hmm. How much did you mess with the paddles? I don't. I was actually, because I don't remember if you could with the first Elite controller, because it wouldn't let me, unless they updated it, it wouldn't let me change the paddles of where A, B, X, and Y were. You for sure could. Okay, because so I tried. Sort of maybe issue maybe it was, they wasn't updated or something. Mm-hmm. But when I did it with this one, I was able to. So I was able to change A, B, X, Y, and whichever no, yeah, side I, I, I always did that. Oh, okay. But I mean, I did maybe that with, there was an issue with yours you can do. Yeah, um, but I did it with this one, and I was liking it because I was like playing Call of Duty, and I was re- I was like I went to reload, but I didn't want to move my thumb, so I just hit the one of the triggers or one of the paddles, reloaded. I was like, oh, it feels good, right? Yeah, you but I used the top buttons. two, yeah. and it feels a lot better. Like before with the first one, I feel like the paddles were in the way. This one doesn't feel like it. Yeah, um, I feel like because they're a little smaller, mm-hmm. right? Because I would feel like I would hit the paddles very easily, so it was very hard yep. to get used to. Like it was because I, I feel like if I literally move, yeah, if I literally move any figure, it's going down. Yeah. My issue with the Elite controllers have been the padding, and I'm sure this has happened to a lot of people. The padding actually expand yeah. over the Elite controller. Very, very terrible oversight by Xbox. I feel to have a padding. <laughs> Part of the controller being basically faulty to certain people. I don't know if it was my skin oil, the sweat from my hands, the heat from my hands. I don't know what actually Just did wear it. and tear. But the basic, basically my rubbers would eventually expand to pop out of the controller. Yeah. Like some sort of sea monster emerging from the deep. Yeah, it would just A la Godzilla, right? Mm-hmm. I always hated that. This one does not feel like the same material, so I am hopeful. I did buy a warranty with mine because I do not trust it now. <laughs> so I bought a warranty with it just in case. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know. Yeah, this one. Uh, the price tag is scary to some people, I'm sure, right? Because it's a $200 controller. Yeah. You can get it cheaper. You know what I mean? You'll find ways, right? Yeah. There's coupons. There's sales. Figure yeah. it out. Yeah, you, you, you guys read the tea leaves. You can figure out where to get it cheaper. Any final thoughts? 
Um, so f- just overall, great controller. This is a must buy if you are if you are thinking about it. It's a must buy. If you are not, if you if you if you hear the 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 word two hundred dollar controller and that immediately nopes you out, not for you. Or Don't if you're buy. like, or if you're like me or him, which I uh, I've owned each Elite controller, yes. including the Gears of War one. Yes, you have. Um, I actually wanted to collect them all, but I was like, I'm not that no, much of a savage. Probably not, right? I was like, I don't need that. <laughs> but um, then you should get this one because it's it's for awesome. sure. Moving yeah. on, Alex, to what we've been playing. Mm. We're gonna, you know, we're spending a little time with the audience in this episode. Yeah, talking with what we've been doing. I will lead this time. Okay, after party. You've played a little bit yes. of this as well. Yes, I did. Um, hilarious game made by. Help me. Um, um, I will look it up. Okay. I will look it out being it. But hilarious. Yes. One, uh, Javina Gavankar. Okay. The main character. She is not Milo, the other girl. Lola? Yes, Lola. Thank you. Well, Milo's the boy. Lola's the girl. That's what I meant. Sorry. Yeah. So Milo is someone I actually don't know, but Javina Gavankar. Mm. Very good in a row. Yeah, hilarious. Oh god, so, so far. far, yeah, it's hilarious. hilarious. I've mean, just gotten past basically tutorial stuff, and they're yeah. still setting up the world. Mm. But it is that's how hilarious. I was too. Um, no filter in this game. No, for sure. So I, if, you, I, if I mean, you're not like I'm going actually, for M rated, like this is M rated to like M, like this is M rated. Night School Studios. There we go. That's uh, what it was. Night School Studios made this game so far fantastic. I'm loving yep. it. Um, it is a uh. Uh, tell tall like game um think where... of oxen free like the yeah, way of for oxen, sure. free. oxen free this is the same people who made oxen free so it's a good way oh okay yeah. yeah so oxen free mixed with just like uh tell tell because yeah. it has decisions yeah, so where you yeah, can talk yeah and then there's mechanics to where so the premise of the game is you have to out drink satan to leave hell right mm. so um, the basis is you take these different types of drinks throughout conversations to have new decisions. So, yes. for instance, I had to get upstairs into an exclusive club. So, what I did, I had four drinks. There was one that made me flirty. There was one that made me more courageous. And there was a couple other ones. Mm-hmm. I took the one that was courageous. And when I walked up to them, <clears> there was a guy playing ping, uh, beer pong. And I drank the drink in the middle, talked to him. Like, hey, yeah, I'm doing this. And then I bring up, hey, um, I bet I, I bet I can win. They they basically challenge me I'm like ah I could take you. Yeah. So they do the beer pong. I win, um, because I can. I don't know if I'm affecting this. I think I am. When he's going to shoot, you can drink the drink, get your new uh, decision, mm-hmm. make the decision, and him, it messes him up. Because <clears throat> I think because really? you, you're you're like burning them. There's like a yeah. You guys are like talking shit to each other basically. Yeah. Um, pff, fantastic game so far though. I am excited to get back. I'm mm-hmm. taking a break from Destiny because I've done been everything. Nonst- eh, okay, good for you. Good point, but I still need to do raids. There are some raids I still need to yeah. do actually in the game. I'm doing missing like a full clear of Crown of Sorrows, the new one, and all that. So I want to give it a break, and also I want to talk about something on this podcast rather than mention just Destiny, Destiny over yeah. here. Uh, so after party is good. Um, yes, you've been playing something, Alex. I have not. Uh, what is that? Need for Speed Heat. Oh, how is that? I'm I'm enjoying it. Enjoying it. Yes. Um. I mean, the all the the last couple of first speeds, impressions. What What do you think? Right. Um. You look like you're giving us some history. So go with the history. Yeah. Like where so going. um, the last two didn't really sell on me so well. I mean, like that being payback and Need for Speed, right? Yes. Need, Need for, for Speed, speed the one that's like the blue speed cover. Yeah. Um. I thought with that one, I thought they were gonna go back to like you know how underground used to be. I was like, oh, cool. But it was just too much going on and they were trying i feel like it was trying too much mm. and uh with payback it was like it got better with the cars but the story was getting better but it, it's still not you okay you about to cry over there? no I, I, um, I had to like <laughs> i had to hiccup I know, I'm just but kidding. i was trying to hold it <clears throat> uh payback uh, was really emotional story i understand yeah, no, right yeah <laughs> Um, it's just, it, it didn't catch me. I just played everyone out and then I just, cause I wanted to build up my like, car. I feel like you're saying all I every do. Need for Speed fan is yeah. right now, right? I don't, um, I, every person I've talked to is I not just, like Need for Speed and not like Payback. Yeah. And um, I think their sales can pretty much reflect that. Yeah. Um, with this one, so as, this as, game is not out yet. 
to be fair, we did not get this early. No, we're, I'm we're not. We're, no, we're, not, I'm, we're not in <laughs> cahoots with anybody. No, I'm using the reason we we're getting it is because of EA access. Yes, correct? I'm using EA access, and you have ten hours to play the trial, pretty or pretty much the game for ten A week hours early or three days. It or something was like three that. days early. It's three days early. That's how we're playing. You could do this right now, listening yeah. at home. So, yeah. So you if go you pay thirty access, bucks for EA access, and yep. then you can immediately play right now. Yep. If you want to, you get a ten hour trial. Another yes. note: if you are on Xbox or PlayStation, I like to PSA this: if you start the game and you pause it, you have to close the game, or the counter will still count. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Yep. So, so you have to actually close the game to stop the counter. No, yeah. Go ahead. Adam. Yeah, that that's happened, and that sucks. Mm-hmm. But um, I was playing it, and the first story cutscene that starts or whatever was I'm like, all right, this this is pretty cool what's going on. So I was like, okay, let's see how my character kicks in. So your character comes in, does these certain things, and um, I was like, all right, cool. You get your car, and from <clears throat> from the car customization is pretty much about the same, but it's um different on how you uh, how you get stuff okay so there is a daytime Mm -hmm. and there's a nighttime Mm -hmm. nighttime you earn rep okay the more rep you get is it like money no oh okay no reputation oh so 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 uh during the okay during the day Mm -hmm. you earn money during your races oh yes uh so that you can buy your parts for your cars Mm -hmm. and all that stuff at night, you mm-hmm. earn rep or respect or whatever, like mm-hmm. however you want to mm-hmm. call it. And then um, the more rep you have, the more stuff unlocks so that then you can buy them with mm-hmm. the money you get. That's like so your leveling system. Yes. And then the daytime is more of your monetary system. Yes. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, That's at nighttime. So, yeah. So, at nighttime, uh, let's say I need a rep of, I think it was 14. I want my skyline. Okay. I want to, I need to be rep 14, but I'm eight. Okay. So I kind of keep playing at night to get the rep. Is up. that far? Is eight far from 14? Um, like, you know how, what I mean? Is that de- like a it, far in the game? It depends because, uh, during the night you're, you get your heat level. Right. So like, because cops come after you and stuff like that. So they brought that back. Okay. Um, yeah, this you- is from hot pursuit, correct? Uh, basically the same thing i think what hot pursuit had it under uh undercover had it Mm -hmm. i think underground had it yeah but um the more heat you have the more cops are going to come after you and stuff like that okay but in this one the more uh the more rep you have uh excuse me the more heat you have like say because i was on a car chase last night that lasted for a while Mm -hmm. i got to heat four Mm -hmm. so it times up to five right uh, that I don't know. I have oh, to look. Okay. I think so, it's. I, mean, I don't know. I didn't go past four because okay. I almost. I almost, you almost got. Uh, yeah, you almost got got. Yeah, I almost you got. Almost, I almost, almost got, got caught, got. and I don't know if I lose all my rep or not. Ooh, so I didn't so want to get don't caught. You don't even know what happens. I don't know what happens yet. It might, I, it might be like damaging. I might grab a heat one and get then get caught. Just see what happens. I just mm-hmm. I'm gonna wait until I have enough money because mm-hmm. apparently if you have enough money you can bribe the cops to like let you go, mm-hmm. which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, you told me this. They're dirty cops or something. That's part of the story. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's so why I was like, I don't want to spoil into details. No, yeah. Like, people not get into care. Yeah, it's great. But yeah. Right. No, um, um, I had uh, times four on my heat. Mm-hmm. Once I finished the chase and I went to my garage to end the night, whatever rep I own, I uh, I got, let's say I had, uh, what was it? I think I, it was 8,000 rep because mm-hmm. I got it from a race. And then my heat was times four, so it gave me about twenty thousand to twenty one thousand rep. It brought me from le- rep three to rep eight. So it depends on what you do at night. Hear me out. You want the multiplier? Multiplier, Hear pretty me. much. Hear me out. Mm. Is this like dying light in the instance where I want <clears throat> to go out at night mm-hmm. to get materials I can only get at night? Yeah. But I am risking being out. Yes. So it's kind of like that where yes. I'm kind you're risking of, you're risking it's a risk being, reward. Yes, right? you're being you're risking of being caught. Okay. But and the, this, but and this the longer gauge you is st- continually going up, right? Yes. So the, no yeah. matter what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the oh, longer wow. you stay out and doing stuff That's like it, yeah. So if you do stay out and just drive around, don't mm-hmm. do races. I I don't know if the heat goes up, oh, but okay. you have to do races, and then you do got to. So like, let's say you're driving and a and a car, and a cop passes you, there'll be um. It'll chase you, and if you escape it, you earn some re- you earn some heat. Okay. So it'll goes up to the next one. So there'll be like a little flame, and it'll go up to heat. Do too. I want heat? Now I know that is yes. interacting cops. Yes. So that's like the multiplier, right? Yes. You said? Yeah, okay. the heat is the multiplier, okay. and it multiplies your rep. 
So like I said, I had 8,000 rep. And if I left it at eight, uh, t- heat two, mm. that's times two. So mm. I wouldn't have gotten as much. I got times four. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So you want like the higher the heat, yeah. the, the, the your heat is pretty much the multiplier mm-hmm. for your rep. So once you have enough rep, you're like, oh, okay, you have enough rep. It'll unlock these things that you can buy, mm-hmm. but now you got to earn money. So now you go to the daytime, get money, and then you can buy the stuff that you unlocked at night. Okay. So it's it's di- it's very different. I and like, I'm, I'm actually liking it. I like, I this, like this mechanics. I yeah, like that. It's, I'm liking this. It It is intriguing me to actually go play the game. I, yeah. It sounds like, really cool. Because before, it used to just be race. race. And then chase. Uh, like, the get, lose the cops. Chase. <laughs> lose the cops. Yeah. This is actually incentivizing you to be like, oh, because at first I thought I was like, oh, okay, I can just pick day or night, and it's just going to give me the same crap. When you told it's me not. that, I was like, oh, so that's cool. I can just change like uh, yeah. one night time. But then now. I realized, I'm like, oh, you have to do one or the cool. other. Okay. okay. Or you have to do both. So you have to, yeah. So I, I'm liking it. I'm going to go back. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll check back next week. Yeah. Next week will be also Death Stranding. Oh, man. Friday. I'm... I am... Hey, you know what? We're skipping a few stories. I did, we gotta <laughs> talk about this. We can so, we can go on a little longer. We're gonna, what's yeah, wrong of, with co- that? of course, right, right. Death Stranding review scores came in, mm-hmm. right? No spoilers, of course. I don't know what the game. Alex doesn't know anything about the game. Uh, I haven't dude, watched. I, all I know is there's a baby. That's I, it. <laughs> there's a baby. Um, I haven't seen the latest trailer even. I don't I want to either. It's the thing is like spoiler. Yeah, it's like ten minutes. Yeah, it's like eight to ten minutes. What long. do I want to watch? I want to play the game. Yeah, it's like, All right, so let's let's go over that. So, your gamer doesn't give scores, but they said recommended. Okay. Six Access gives a 10. Oh, wow. EGM gives a 5 out of 5. Okay. Game Cult gives it a 9. Game Spot gives it a 9. Jix Video gives it a 19, I guess, out of 20. Okay. Uh, Easy A, I think Easy Allies. Yes. They stole yeah, our initials. Yeah. I just realized. How dare they? <laughs> Easy Allies gave it an 8. <clears throat> Destructoid gave it an 8. Game Informer gave it a 7. IGN gave it a 6.8. Ooh. U.S. Gamer gave it a 3.5 out of 5. Games Radar gave it 3.5 out of 5. And VGC, which I think is... I don't remember. Video Game Critic, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, is 3 out of 5. And Metacritic, as of uh, this tweet, is a 81. Hmm. Interesting. So the lowest, it seems like... IGN with 6.8, right? IGN 6.8, or the one before Metacritic, it was the, the, three, the 3 out of 5. 3 out of 5 from Which VGC. is about, what, a... Fifty to sixty percent. Yeah, six. Let's say yeah. that's about a six. Yeah, it's like a C. Yeah, all over the place. Yeesh. Yeah, some people love it. Some people, I. That's why I'm like, I don't know what's up with this game, dude. It seems like it, it, if I feel like you can go on and on, but like it's an art piece, or it's this and that, and yeah, I don't think we'd really get anywhere. I think it's interesting. That even people in the industry that know what they were getting mm. when they went to review the game. Yeah. Because I feel like if you know what you're getting, you're getting the 10s, the 9s, the the, the 5s, all that mm. stuff. So and if you don't know what you're getting, not saying IGN doesn't know what they're doing. I'm, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying maybe you have to be in the mood for this. Yeah. I need to, I would, I now, seeing the score from IGN, I'm like, yeah. I want to read that review now. Cause I'm just yeah, because no, it all it depends. Means, right. Um, let's read a few snippets, right? So this is. Uh, from Polygon's review. Death Stranding feels like two games in one. One is a wholly unique open world adventure with asynchronous cooperative multiplayer, and the other is a long, confusing, deeply strange movie. And see, this is what I was just about to say before you said that. I think I know what's wrong with this with this game. No? Right Lay it on me. The story... On, I'll call Hideo while you do All right. <laughs> so, the story is what every... every uh, like, is get, that's why it's getting the mixed reviews because the story is like really good like uh, you know there's a lot of crazy stuff going on uh, everybody likes sci-fi stuff i mean but the mechanics of the game is what's causing everybody to be like because uh. like even from the gameplay that we've seen like you know him using the ladder out of nowhere and all, things like that i feel like it's just the mechanics can be very obtuse up ob- yes obtuse mm-hmm. very uh, uh, some in some points too much i've heard that this is very on the nose and in your face for instance, okay. I heard a. It's very literal in its meaning. For instance, like in the Lion King. Okay. Right? For just a random, <laughs> random scenario, right? Okay. For in the Lion King, it's like, all right, the Lion King is about a kid facing uh, his true self as being a king, mm. leaving but coming back to take back his spot, right? Yeah. 
at no point in the Lion King does the Lion King turn to the to the camera and say, "I am going to take back and become the Lion King." Yeah. Apparently, that's what Death Stranding does, Weird. and just basically just tells you the what you should be feeling rather than you feeling the actual feeling. Yeah. So I feel like that's where we're getting these mm. smaller, not as positive reviews yeah it's just it's just weird because from what from what i the gameplays i've seen and stuff i feel like i mean like i want to see what the story is about but i feel like the mechanic is not gonna let me enjoy the story because in some mechanics like it looks fun like i want to see what that vehicle thing is they saw yeah the motorcycle yeah that i was like that looks cool yeah and i want to see what you know the mechanics is with the that that weird whatever that that weird uh it kind of looks like a radar (laughs) thing yeah that's on your shoulder (laughs) And it shows uh, those Rapper. weird shadow things come around you. I think those are the BTs. That's yes, the BTs. That means. Like in the first trailer we ever saw, like you know he's he's just like being very silent, and there's mm-hmm. BTs walking around. Mm-hmm. Um, like I want to see that. That looks awesome. But as some aspect, like with the ladder, and then uh, if you go through the main menus and you change some stuff, I feel like that's gonna be like not fun or try, or making it. Or, con- or remember, conflict with the story. In this game. Huh? I said, remember, you have to pee in this game. I mean, I guess. I can't imagine that being fun. Like, you have to? Or you I'm pretty just sure. can? I'm pretty sure you have to pee because there's a fluid gauge that goes down when you pee. So I'm assuming the gauge goes so, up yeah, I'm assuming. So, so if you have, have to urinate, pee. I'm assuming you have to eat. No, I don't think it's you that don't much. don't think so? No, I assume it's not. I, I mean, I don't know. Again, we haven't played this game, so we're just speculating. <sighs> I mean, um, in Witcher, I mean, your horse pooped. Or no, Red Dead, your horse pooped. So I guess so. But <laughs> we'll, we'll read this bit, go over that, and then we'll, we'll move it on. Just I don't very be contra- too, too it's very it's con- very conflicting. Yeah, you no, know, it is. It is. It is. And I don't think either of these reviews are wrong. These are all point of views from people who took the game differently. And this is a weird game. I just feel like I'm it, the with the, like, the story, I'm going to be, it's like watching a movie. I'm going to be sitting there watching it, and I don't know where the game just starts. I'm like, oh, shit. I forgot I was playing something. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? I'm going to leave it at that. That was a good way of ending it. Feels like more of a movie than anything. I, I think yeah. it's a good point to bring up. Because so, Kojima... You know what? Let's skip ahead. Okay. Alex, because you right. walked right in. That In the future, oh, Hideo Kojima segment? says his studio will make films. This is over on Kotaku by a Brian Ashcraft. For a guy who says that 70% of his body is made up of movies, <laughs> okay, I guess it's uh, interesting. This seems like it's a long time coming. In a 26-minute BBC documentary of the making of Death Stranding, Hideo Kojima reveals the inevitability. Quote, in the future, Kojima, uh, Kojima Productions will also start making films, Kojima said. If a person can do one thing well, then they should be able to do anything well. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, Kojima. I, I, I'm assuming that was translated incorrectly. I don't think he really meant it that way, but maybe he did. I don't She'd know. She'd be able to do this. She'd be able to do everything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, Alex, I can make a mean cup of ramen. I should be able to do anything. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I mean, hey, I make a good sub. I should all, I should, I should make a restaurant. You know what? Go fly that plane. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Here's the keys, Alex. <laughs> uh, Kojima did not clarify when the studio will start making films. Kotaka reached out to Kojima, uh, Kojima Productions, but did not hear prior to publication. Quote, I think within the next three to four years, everything will move to streaming, games, movies, and TV shows. We're pretty much there with TV shows and movies. When that happens, Kojima, uh, Kojima continues, movies, TV shows, and games will be completed in the same space. Kojima is interested in the type of internet that there will be inevitable arise from this competition. Considering how long the cutscenes of Kajiogumi games have been and how much he loves movies, it might seem odd that he hasn't made a motion picture already. I think I resonate with that last line very much. Mm. Metal Gear. <clears throat> in Metal Gears, I feel like most of the time people bring things up is in cutscenes. Oh, I remember when I was going through the microwave scene, and I do not play Metal Gear. So okay. I do not know. But yeah. I remember, I think in th- four, I think it is, or three. Oh, I remember I'm crawling slowly through the microwave and I'm and I'm I think I'm gonna die. And, you know, these are basically mm-hmm. cutscenes happening yeah. that evoke emotions. So I'm not surprised this man wants to make films. Hey. I go, mean go at it, Hideo. <laughs> yeah. Do what you want, man. I I, I follow him on Twitter. Mm. He if you wanna if you wonder if he's in love with movies, just follow him on Twitter. He'll tell you himself. Yeah. There are so many. Like like film things attached to his like tweets of just film stuff. He'll get statues of random things and take mm-hmm. awesome pictures of it. Um, 
uh, he had like Godzilla stuff the other day. Yeah. Like super cool things. He's just super into it. I love it. Yeah. He, he likes what he likes, I guess. All right. Moving on to what we were going to start with. I'm so sorry we're bringing this back up. <laughs> Blizzard is in the news again for BlizzCon, of course. And I, and I did struggle to be like, should I bring up the apology first or should I go into the games first? Alex, what do you think I should go in first? Games or the apology? So, we, let's let's go with the apology. Okay. I think so, too, because Just, that's what they led with as well. Yes. So, let's start over on PC Gamer. Blizzard president clarifies decision to ban Hearthstone player and two casters over Hong Kong controversy. This is by Steven Mesner. BlizzCon 2019 opened on a somber note yesterday when President J. Allen Brack walked on stage to address controversy surrounding Blizzard's heavily criticized decision to ban a Hearthstone player and two Taiwanese casters a month ago. <laughs> Hearthstone Grandmaster Chung Blitz Chung Nyang Hua created an international controversy when he openly called for Hong Kong's freedom from China while wearing a mask during a post-match interview as part of the Asia-Pacific Hearthstone Grandmasters League. Quote, we moved too quickly in our decision-making, and then to make matters worse, we were too slow to talk with all of you, Jay Allen admitted. Uh, when I think about I'm most unhappy with, there's really two things. The first one is that we didn't live up to the high standards that we set for ourselves. And the second is that we failed in our purpose, and for that, I am sorry, and I accept accountability. Quote, as you walk around this weekend, Brock later added, I hope it's clear how we've committed. We are everyone's right to express themselves in all kinds of ways, in all kinds of places. <laughs> Despite that stated comment, Brock did not address Blizzard's decision to ban Young Wei and uh, two Taiwanese casters. After the first day of BlizzCon came to a close, PC Gamer was contacted by one of those casters who wanted to express their frustration at Blizzard's apparent decision to upload the ban against them. Quote, expressing myself is exactly what I did during casting, said Virtual, who prefers not to use his real name. Quote, so why is ba Blizzard still banning me for six months? Brack was willing to address the question briefly in a, uh, and they do like a little interview with this gentleman. I'm not going to read all of that, but it is important if you'd like to go read it, if you want to know more about the gentleman. I did hear he, did, he, get a, he got his, uh, reward back right um yes that's blitz chung that is not this gentleman that is no, the no, caster yeah. i believe you, yeah I got you. yeah virtual i think is his name um a mm -hmm. right headlines in this are very weird because i'm seeing everywhere that it says blizzard apologizes for blitz chung and that's not what happened mm -hmm. what happened is they kind of we all know what he's talking about, right? Mm -hmm. We know he's talking about Blitz Chung, and we know he's talking about the two casters. At no point does he bring up the names on stage. Hey, sorry about Blitz Chung. What happened? They don't bring up the word China. They don't bring up anything. They just say... And they also reiterate, which is my biggest pet peeve, because I don't think you can say this anymore, Blizzard. I hope it's clear how we're committed. We are everyone's right to express themselves in all kinds of ways in all kinds of places. Except our stage, I guess. That should like have be like like make your statement clearer. Mm -hmm. Except our stage. <laughs> like if you're gonna make the stance I'm very <clears throat> I'm very curious if the same thing would have happened if, for instance, someone said Medicare for all. <sighs> which is a Medicare plan in the States, if you do not know. In the United States, Medicare for All is basically a Medicare plan that is sponsored by the government. A bunch of numbers bunch of, I won't go into right now. But basically, mm -hmm. like, do you get banned for that? That's political, right? Do you get banned for saying the Holocaust is bad, right? Like, like these are, of course, extreme <clears throat> extremes, but where's the line? If you say, I support Blizzard's decision in this, that's also political. So, like, do you get banned for that? There doesn't seem to be rules to this, and I guess rules are made specifically to be vague, so you can kind of just apply to them whatever you want to. I'm just wondering if they're trying to dig themselves out of this hole. Oh, for sure, right? This is... I just can't tell if it's, it's making it worse, or just... I don't know. This will go the way of everything else does. Eventually, we will just all <laughs> just forget about it. Now, and not forget about it, but we'll all be like... Someone will bring up the Blizzard thing, and we'll be like, whatever. Yeah, right. Because remember, a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about if they were going to pull this up on BlizzCon or not. Right, and we did bring it up. Like, will they talk about it? And I don't remember what I said, but I assume I said they'd have to, right? Mm. Because you can't pretend like this. And apparently, people were protesting. Yeah, right outside. Um, and uh, I heard that there were uh people in BlizzCon that walked out and gave them Gatorade and snacks when the while they're protesting. Yeah. Maybe Blizzard is in a very unique situation where they do support. <laughs> what Blizz Chung is saying. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. But they also have to keep multiple, I'm sure thousands, maybe hundreds, I don't know how many people they employ, mm-hmm. hundreds of jobs. Um, so if they do say something bad about China and they do get revoked from China and they lose, let's just be generous and say $500 million. Okay. Like it's a high amount, right? I maybe they can't afford that loss. So literally, if they admit that hit, if that hits them, yeah, they're no. out of business. So maybe yeah. maybe they're in this unique situation where they're like, "Hey, we're with you, but if we say yes, we're gonna go out of business." Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, they have to be. Looked, I'm just speculating. Yeah. They're making me speculate because they won't tell us what's going on. I do not give them a pass, Mo- mostly because I vehemently stand against everything China does. Right? They have. Terrible concentration camps. They still do concentration camps against Muslims. Very terrible things. And if you're going to side with China, of all things, then you can, I don't know, move out of here then. Because we don't really stand for stuff like that. That aside, this did affect my excitement for the next games we're going to talk about. Right? Yeah. Any lasting statements on the apology? And then we'll move into the games. Because I did not want to take the games out of the equation because... People, I don't want to put my values on other people. No, yeah, no. So if you authentically want to hear about the games, I'm going to tell you about the games. No, yeah. I mean, like I said, I want. That's why I wanted to bring this one first, just to p- briefly talk mm. about it. But the and then we just talk about and then we talk yeah. about the games. Let's talk about the games. So yeah. let's get into the games. <laughs> Overwatch Two Blizzard Vice President Jeff Kaplan took the stage during BlizzCon 2019 keynote to announce Overwatch Two, confirming everything that's been leaked about the game. Basically, everything has been leaked about the game. <laughs> Kaplan <laughs> emphasized that, like its predecessor, Overwatch Two would be a <laughs> six on sixteen based competitive shooter. The major difference between these two games is that Overwatch Two will feature both PvP and PVE content at launch. Not just PvP. That's right. Also PVE. Again, they. Excited to mention Ooh, that twice. Yeah. Kaplan also confirmed Sean John, I guess is how you say that, a new playable hero. We also learned that skins will transfer to the sequel, among other things, along with some other details that what's happening to the first Overwatch support for the game will continue, although it won't get a new archives event. So, interesting that they're supporting Overwatch 1 while moving to 2. I think this is the mm-hmm. future of video game as service releases. Yeah. Right? It's and very I mean, cool. and I, I I do enjoy that because not everybody can get the sequel. Not everybody mm. um, don't haven't upgraded yet. Right. I still that's know people, why free to play games are so popular, right? I still Everyone know people that are on PS3, then they now are going yes. to PS4, I know, right? but PS5 is about to come out. So like, and it's they just, don't care. No, they don't. I mind. have plenty of people that say, they yeah, don't I don't mind buying a generation before because I get everything cheaper to five ten dollars when we yeah. spend sixty bucks. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 um, it's whatever they want to do. I yeah. mean, I think it's cool that you. Apparently, I read about this. If you're playing Overwatch Two, you could be playing against Overwatch One people. I really? think it's really cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Skins will transfer, which is a big deal for me. Whoa, skins, skins are transfer. Skins for transfer. So when mm. you play the sequel, your account is going to um, come up with all your stuff. So a big thing with this. Yes. Is it going to be cross play? My thing is because they need to in Overwatch One. Yeah. I play it on Xbox mm-hmm. and on PlayStation. Mm-hmm. I uh, I wonder if they'll do the thing what they did with Destiny, to where you have like a, a thing on Steam Man, and you got cl- and you got to merge it. I, I wish hope. they could merge both because I have skins on PlayStation that I don't have on Xbox, and I wish I did. I dude, I hope they do some sort of transfer. If not, they give you the skins you don't have in currency. Mm-hmm. So your legendary skin is worth a eight hundred currency or yeah. something, something <laughs> comparable. Just to, to help facilitate and be like, hey. I don't see Overwatch 2 coming out and crossplay not be a thing. Like, I just cannot fathom that. Mm. It has to happen. Call of Duty has it, right? So, like, you imagine, yeah. like, there, this has to be a thing. Hopefully, we'll see that. I'm just, again, glad about the, the skin transfers. Mm. Glad about the new mm-hmm. hero. She looks cool. Um, moving on to Diablo 4. Did you see this trailer for Diablo 4? I have not. So, it is a movie, <laughs> basically. <laughs> it? It's like 10 minutes, I think. It's super long, dude. Is it really? Super long. Really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, it's The basic premise is these treasure hunters and this priest are trying to get into this vault to get money. Mm-hmm. Um, the priest doesn't want to be there. He's like badly hurt, and he's trying to get into the thing. And then when they get into the vault, they realize there's nothing there. And... Sp- antics happen you know yeah yeah, yeah. Stuff weird happens. stuff happens and like a god gets summoned okay weird stuff 
So let's let's see the yeah announcement of uh, Diablo Four, which was accompanied by the release of two trailers. The first one being a cinematic Diablo and Diablo Two enemy Lilith as the main protagonist of Diablo Four. The second, a game player introduced the first three of five playable characters: barbarian, sorcerers, and druid. Hmm. Among the new features you can expect are mounts, which will help you get around the larger game world, which comprises of five distinct but contiguous regions. Oh wow, interesting. I like everything so far. Did you like Diablo 3, Alex? I, uh, I did. I just never uh, got far into it because I, start, I, mean, I started it. I played it. It was really fun. But I feel like the, the game would be a lot more fun if I had somebody else. Yeah, me too. We so should I play just, together and yeah. try to see if we'll like it. I couldn't get into it either, but yeah, that's a good dungeon point. Probably is, good is meant to for, be played cool, with yeah. multiple people, right? Because the story is awesome. I, just, I never really tried it. With co-op, so I don't know if it would be better or not, but I think it would. They have, for some reason, been screaming that this Diablo... Because I guess people didn't like Diablo 3. I thought people liked Diablo yeah, 3, I, thought I guess be- people don't. I don't know. I, I've been hearing conflicting things. I was about to say but apparently start, Diablo yeah. 4 is... It, everyone's saying Dark is back. So, like, like Diablo 4 being more, like, goth, dark aesthetics, being, like, gross and, and grimy. You know, mm-hmm. it's just, like, dark aesthetics. Think something yeah. Think something low and... and, and, and in gothic in nature more yeah. dark soulsy than anything right mm. people are very excited i guess for this um i i don't hate it but i don't love that um usually when i hear the word dark i think of black and purple and nothing else and i do yeah. like color in my game so hopefully there's some difference maybe something um, i don't know yeah there's a, i was the i was clicking on it and i watched a little they're showing a little bit of a gameplay trailer i do see what it may mean by dark is just like a it's not like you know, uh, uh, bright and sunny. It's mm. mostly like there's a well, dark. To be fair, it is called a dungeon crawler. Yeah, right? no, so it is pretty dark. I'm just even if you're outside and stuff, it's like, like dark. Color. You know what I mean? The what? I said I'm just complaining because I want the color. No, yeah, I want to. I want to like be able things. to see my color, my yeah. my HDR. Yeah, right. I want my HDR to kick in. My HDR is just gonna make my black. Look it does black. look good though. Like like graphics wise, it does look good. Oh, for sure. Right? Yeah, like because I'm watching some gameplay now, and it it looks great. Mm, no, it looks it looks awesome. I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, well, this is a for sure buy if it looks any better yeah. when it comes out. Um, moving on to World of Warcraft Shadowlands, a new trailer mm. for World of Warcraft's next expansion. Shadowlands was also released during the BlizzCon 2019 keynote. The trailer focuses on Sylvanas as she takes on High Lord Bolvar Four Dragon, the Lich King, in the Shadowlands expansion. Your journey to the afterlife of Warcraft universe and visit four new zones. Oof. Go all right. Re- Revendrith, Ardenwild, Maldraxxus. And Bastion. We really got easy on that last one. And in the middle there, we added a lot of X's and U's. <laughs> but we got there in the end. Apparently, I've been reading that if you like World of Warcraft and yep. have disliked the last expansion, mm-hmm. this is them literally listening to all of your complaints and fixing them. And in fixing this. everything. Apparently, it's really cool. It's got all the cool things added. Uh, I'm, I'm glad they're ex- excited. Everyone seems very, very excited about this. So I'm glad for them, yeah. the World of Warcraft players. I know a lot of them very excited hearthstone next month hearthstone is getting a new expansion descent of dragons and a new mode hearthstone battlegrounds and battlegrounds you and seven other players fight against ai enemies you can also expect a ton of new descent of dragon cards i love hearthstone mm-hmm. um i uh can't say i'm gonna get back into this expansion i would love to but again this whole thing kind of like yeah bummed my mood so i don't even know if i'll go back to this i might when it comes out, maybe I'll look at it. Maybe I'll, I, I might. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta ask my um, my little brother because he likes WoW, so I'm wondering if he's gonna get the new expansion because mm-hmm. him uh, and his uncle play, and uh, but he needs a computer that can run it because <laughs> he tried the last expansion and his Mac just, could not do it. He needs. He, he, he was upset. Oh, that sucks. There's yeah. nothing worse when you buy something and you're like, I can't play this. Yeah. That's I. I mean, shoot. That's I. I've I've felt like that before. No, for sure. Me too. Because I can't was, play. I can play almost no uh, PC games because I yeah. just can't run it. I don't. I'm not playing. No, yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember when we played um, the Stanley Parable. I think that's yeah, what it's called. Parable. Yeah, yeah. I had to change my computer because I was like my uh, the, for the the computer I was trying to play it on would, would like just lag. I'm like, mm-hmm. it's not a crazy yeah. game. Let me play <laughs> it. Not much happening. But it was a good game. Um, uh, moving on. BlizzCon is over, Alex. BlizzCon is over. And we're over. moving on to Mr. G. Corsi. 
<laughs> Gio Corsi on Twitter has tweeted out, it's been a hell of a ride, but last Man. week was my final one at PlayStation. Why? I'm taking some time off, but I will be back in games soon enough. I'm extremely proud of all the amazing things we accomplished. Big love to everyone past and present who made my time there truly special. One, Alex, four. We're, we're at three people leaving PlayStation? Why? Who? Why? What's happening? Yeah, right. Mr. John Drake, one illustrious John Drake, leaving to go to Disney. Yes. Two, Gio Corsi. Yep. Leaves for something. We know he's going somewhere, but we don't know where. Three, Sean Layden, and we still don't know nothing about. We haven't heard from. He was the president of uh. First party studios, right? Yeah, yeah. Is this? Yeah, he's a um, CEO for or not CEO, but uh, yeah, I know what you mean. And disappeared. Just uh, hasn't said anything. I think it was five o'clock on a Wednesday or something like that. I'm I'm surprised that you one, remember one tweet. Yeah, just said that. Uh, uh, yeah, Sean Layden. It was leaving. What was it? With great love, or had left or whatever. Sean Layden is leaving. Play and no, no press Nothing. release. We haven't seen a tweet from Mr. Sean Layden. There must be. Like NDAs, like all in his eyeballs. Dude, like he must I, not be. He's he he must have been like delete Twitter. <laughs> he's like I'm not so, getting on this thing again. You know what this tells me? Maggio Corsi leaving. We will never get a Vita two. No, no, it's dead. It's, it's dead it's, in the water. This man is responsible for making the Vita good. Yep. And Apparently now, he brought in a lot of Vita stuff and. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we're I gonna mean, miss. Yeah, look at that, look at that profile picture of Mr. Jugo. If you Vita Slim and there, he's OLED holding Vita. two Vitas in his hand like ninja stars. Yep. They look really cool. Mr. Uh, I'm, I bet you I'm so I bet you he has a Vita tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. But that'd be awesome. Like though. the logo just uh, like PlayStation Vita. I, I mean if I was like if I was him I would. <laughs> if you were Mr. Jugo Corsi? Yeah. If I was like if dedicated my Corsi? Yeah. I would make them make a Vita too. And by make, I, dude, I, I mean, I wonder if he, <laughs> now I wonder if he tried. All right, put your hands up. We're starting R and D on Vita Two. I wonder if he tried. I'm. Well, I want to know. I wonder if he tried. Be like, yeah, you know, Vita Two. I don't think anyone at PlayStation like, tried. I think they saw the sales. I just like, wonder if he like. This. He's like, we can do so much better. You just you know what? I I retract that statement. I'm sure they've R and D'd some things very quietly, and I'm sure they've patented some things. I, I mean, don't think they'll ever actually it, action on it. I mean, there has to be another portable PlayStation in one day, right? I think they look at the Switch and go, "Why didn't we just make that?" Which I mean, who yeah, they Why might because I mean, Razer is doing one that's very similar to the Switch. Really? Yeah, they have a. Oh, so that's it, right. That yeah, that we read about right. Yeah, the, uh, so it's by Razer and it literally looks like a Switch, the two detachable controllers. Mm-hmm. So I mean, some people are doing it. Oh, it's moving on. Mm. This is more of a fun fact and. We can discuss it a little if you want. All right. PlayStation 4 made headlines surpassing the original PlayStation, right? Okay. This is the five best-selling consoles ever. Oh, Number one, yeah. PlayStation 2. Number two, PlayStation 4. Number three, PlayStation. Number four, Wii. Number five, PlayStation 3. Number six, Xbox 360. Number seven, NES. Number eight, SNES. Number nine, Xbox One. Number 10, Genesis. Hmm. That is withholding handhelds. <clears throat> For fun facts, if you want to know with handhelds, number one, PlayStation 2. Number two, Nintendo DS. Number three, Game Boy. Number four, PlayStation 4. Number five, PlayStation. Number six, Wii. Number seven, PlayStation 3. Number eight, Xbox 360. Number nine, Game Boy Advance. Number 10, PSP. Hmm. PlayStation really dominating in that top five. Being yeah, they are. four of the five. <laughs> yeah. That is insane. That... What combined? That's what probably f- almost three hundred million units, right? Uh, uh, th- PlayStation Two sold one hundred and fifty. PlayStation Four. Can you get me exact numbers right now? I think we're on a we're over a hundred million. For which one? PlayStation Four. How many have we sold? PlayStation One. I don't remember. We sold a like a, a gargantuan amount. Just no one bought it. How many Sorry, no PS4 one bought games for it. Everyone bought the Wii. Is no it PS Four units? Yes. Okay. Sales, curious on how many they've made, or not made, but sold, because we ha- we're over the hundred million for sure. I just don't know how far we're into that. Mm-hmm. Crazy that Xbox One number nine. Xbox One number nine. Yeah, number nine. That sucks. <laughs> I 
I don't care. But it's just an interesting note where it's like, good lord, and you don't hit an Xbox till number six, which isn't terrible. You still make money, but good lord. I don't feel like this one's accurate. I think <laughs> this says uh, twenty thousand million. <laughs> well, no, it says ninety six million from August twenty fourteen to June twenty nineteen. That's June though. So that's yeah. That sounds about right. Do you think so? ninety six million? Yeah. yeah, they've crossed a hundred million. I know that. Okay, so sure. yeah, this is just a couple sure months off. Have. Pretty sure they have. Okay. Um, let's see. So we got a, we got a little uh, hint. Yes. Here. Uh, yeah, to a hundred and two point eight million units sold. Cool. P. Wow. Okay. Dude, that's a lot. <laughs> what? PS two. Yeah. One hundred and fifty five. Fifty five. People DS, speculate. they're like right under them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people speculate the reason that sold so much was because it was a DVD uh, player. And yep. It was a very oh yeah DVD oh player. yeah so for sure. I remember my house had three of them because of that reason. Yeah. My dad actually had one to play. My grandma had one to actually play DVDs, and my grandfather also had one. Yeah, wild stuff. Alex, God, it's crazy. Bear with me on this. Jeez. You seem really on these sales units. You have to tear yourself away because we're over on Bioware oh. on IGN for a Dragon Age 4 tease in December. Man. An early Christmas gift for Dragon Age fans. Indeed, IGN. This is on Joseph Knopp. In a tweet posted Sunday, Bioware hinted at a possible mm. Dragon Age 4 tease for later in December. Quote, today marks 10 years of Dragon Age, Bioware tweeted. This year, we're excited to join the community's party on December 4th to My celebrate birthday? a decade together in a world we all love. See you on twelve four for Dragon Age Day, dude. Happy birthday to me! Wow, I'm, I'm very excited to see if this is actually a tease. This could be nothing. This could be us hyping nothing. But Alex, there's a chance, and you know what? Mm. There's a chance for a tease. Yep, and it's on a uh, Wednesday, the fourth. Right, this is correct. It is on a Wednesday. Yes. I didn't even think about that. The reason I know is because I I, I I had. To do something earlier, mm. and I had to see what day it was on. Oh, okay. You were just just looking. Yeah, because I usually like, get my birthday off, so and I had oh, to see okay. what day so it was. You had to like request it all, yeah. right? Cool. And I had a a baby appointment, so I had mm. to make sure. Okay, that's cool. Alex, what's up? Another popular streamer left Twitch. This time for YouTube. What really? Riley McLeod on Kotaku dot com. Popular con- yeah, probably popular content creator Jack. Courage Dunlop is leaving Twitch. He announced today, unlike other recent Twitch departees, he's not going to Mixer. Instead, he struck a deal with YouTube and will stream exclusively there. And if you're announcing the change, Courage, who has already been on YouTube since 2013 and has 1.86 million subs, describes wanting to leave Twitter, uh, sorry, Twitch in order to, quote, hmm. make more content and develop new skills, end quote. Hmm. His YouTube channel is currently comprised of repost of his twitch streams courage hasn't said what his new youtube will look like but in his announcement video he showed off joke examples of scripted skits sending up medical and police television shows so it seems like he's looking to do more than just stream fortnite he also knows that he'll still be involved with 100 thieves an esports organization which he's currently a content creator Hmm. i don't want to get snagged and feel like i'm stuck in some nine to five job (laughs) courage said in a video who has his debut youtube gaming stream on november 5th so it's happened already today is november 6th so he's always debuted in departing twitch courage joins the race of big streamers like tyler ninja blevins michael shroud grisek and Uh, Corey king maybe yeah grisek c or something yeah and Corey king King goliathan Goliathan. (laughs) michael we worked together in that i like that yeah cool crazy all these Twitch streamers were leaving. Yeah, man. What do you think Twitch is doing right now? Sweating? Uh, I think they're sweating. Nothing. <laughs> yes. That's, pro- that's probably they're why they're leaving. Nothing. I wonder if they care. I I don't know, man. Right? I wonder if they're just like, oh, that's just well, the kids they, are leaving I mean, and they're, complaining. It, I mean, they're just like. They're still making much money. And they're owned by Amazon, so they don't have to worry about it. What was it, a month ago? I'd seen like Twitch just redid their logo and all yeah, that Yeah, they stuff. had a redesign and redesign, stuff. Redesign, yeah. Maybe they're trying to like leave like redo stuff maybe they're trying to like redo things and it's not about yeah. people to stay with them by the way it's i don't know man it's like um, a leak but they're le- losing people and these aren't small yeah. people man they're like no, big they're revenue high, yeah. sources and they're mm-hmm. just gone <laughs> like yep. that's what we just read four of them yeah because shroud and ninja went to uh mixer mixer and he went to youtube gaming yeah shroud ninja and king goliath and both went to, all three went to oh mixer. wow okay yeah. i didn't know all goliath and went no to yeah him. i know he did it because okay. i saw like a thing um crazy though yeah good for them because i'm sure he got a hefty paycheck yeah um by the way it's uh mcleod 
McLeod. Okay. Yeah, it's McLeod. Uh, I think it's that's a much cooler name. What I, I think it's either Irish or Scottish. Riley McLeod. That's cool. Yep. Okay, moving on, Alex. We have speculation and mm. we have rumors. Okay. Oh man, hit me. This is a tweet by Blue Point Games. Oh good. This tweet is made on Halloween. Tweet reads as such: So calm this spooky night. A symphony of rumors, not one but two, return from shadow. A resistance to dart home as black monsters escape twisted hills to wander lands and siphon souls. Filter your candy collections soft from solid and be eco-friendly. Have a metal Halloween. That tells me everything. That tells you everything you need to know. Yep. Tells you everything. I can list it right now. Say it. No, you can't. All right. Now. (laughs) <laughs> you're right there's there, right underneath it people have been like breaking apart like each thing oh i didn't even see that yeah so not one but two so there's two remasters yes in development yes so out of the four games listed symphony of the night which yep. is a castlevania game yep. siphon souls which could be either siphon filter or demon souls mm-hmm. soft from solid which is metal gear solid mm-hmm and there's one other one someone put. It says, uh, oh, it's funny because it says not one, but two. It's two remakes in development, of course. Yeah, two, yeah. Not um, one, but two. I feel like that's very clearly could be one of them. Let's see, Symphony Returns. Uh, it says a resistance to dart home as black monsters. Is that meaning resistance, like the game's resistance? So here's another one. Resistance as in the game resistance. Yeah. Legend of Dragoon. Because of Dart, apparently yeah. that's the main character. Yeah. Twisted, as in Twist and Metal. Okay. Siphon Filter, Souls, as in the series. Metal Gear Solid, Solid to Metal. Jackson Dector, Eco Friendly. There's mm-hmm. a lot that like I feel like is too much. Like I feel like that's I feel like those like for no because yeah. the Black Monsters could be Eco. So I'm gonna call one I'm, for I'm, sure. I'm gonna call two, and I feel like I'm pretty confident. I'm go. gonna say my one is Demon Souls for sure. Okay. It has to be. What's your second? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Metal Gear. I want to say, I want to say a Konami game. Because that gives me hope for Suikoden. Right? Mm. But I don't think Konami is interested in remaking the game with Bluepoint. I think they'll just do it in-house and do it themselves, porting it through something else. I hope I'm wrong because I want to see Symphony of the Night remade. Filter your candy collection. I think more people want Metal Gear. I think the ones for sure is Demon Souls. Yes, because that line it says a resistance to Dark Home, as black monsters escape twisted hills to wander lands and siphon souls. So you're pretty much a guy against everything, wandering lands, siphoning souls. That I mean that you're pretty much that's pretty much the gist of yeah. But Dark to be souls fair though, they're naming multiple games. No, so I, why is that the one that is <sighs> bigger than the other ones they mentioned? Because I think Demon Souls has more of a fan base than Resistance. I don't think Resistance is making. I hundred percent don't think Resistance is being. Made. No, no, for sure. I don't think. And if it is, and and if it is, mm. I don't want to be mean. That is a waste of Blue Points talent. No, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like I've Resistance. Heard they're good. But I like I've, Resistance. I've never. That is a tried waste them. of the of of a good remaster. That but can and. Make. Can't be. I, I don't think it could be Twisted Metal because they had the no. they had the first one and then they had Twisted the Twisted Metal's dead and then they had the one that was on PS3 or whatever. Oh, uh, they have a bunch actually. Um, I think it was called just Twisted. Yeah, yeah. But I don't feel like anybody Twisted Metal would, honestly would play that right now. No. Um, I think they would. I think they would do demons. My, I think they would do heart, Demon Souls in my heart before Demon Bloodborne Souls Two. S- well, Bloodborne uh, Bloodborne Two is PlayStation. So it's Demon Souls, right? But the yeah, but they could port Demon Souls. I'm oh, wait. No. Who owns that IP from? Or what? Demon Souls. I'm it's assuming software. From has to own that. Yeah, it's software. Yeah, I from thought, software probably. Yeah. Well, no, but they had a s- publishing deal. I'm checking. Most likely, um, most likely from software owns the IP. Yeah, because they wouldn't have made Bloodborne then. Yeah, because yeah, just, Bandai so, Namco Software SIE Japan Studio. Yeah. Uh, and what I mean and when I say from I mean Bandai Night. yeah and, and publishers Bandai and Atlas but yeah Demon Souls uh, I feel like they would pu- they would remaster that and then maybe next E3 they would hint at Bloodborne 2 <sighs> a symphony of rumors and I'm see, hoping and it, see I'm hoping Castlevania and Metal Gear 
And see, Castlevania, I, I can see. Because those are the two I because care they, about, I mean, but they're they just... not going to be both Kuni, Kunai games. I don't think so. Mm. I don't think both of them. I think that would be like two... I don't know. I guess that would and make see, sense. Didn't they just have Either they're both Konami or neither are. Is and I feel like more likely neither are. Isn't Bloodstain in the Castlevania world or is it a whole different thing? Bloodstained? Okay. Yeah. That, Bloodstain that... is made by uh, Inafune. Mm-hmm. Am I saying the right person? I don't think I am. I don't. I never played the Bloodstained game. It, it I just looked I like it was I a Castlevania game. Inafune Inu, might be either the Mega Man creator or the Castlevania, and I do not remember right off the top of my head. But check. but that is the same creator, but it is not in the world. Okay. So it is a spiritual successor of Symphony of the it's Night. It's by uh, Five O Five Games and Art Play. Uh, it's a Metrovania. Uh, it's f- by led by former Castlevania series producer Koji uh, I- Igarashi. Igarashi. Ah, nah, nah. Inafune is Mega Man. I yeah. suck. Koji though is fantastic developer. Bloodstain yeah. was not my cup of tea. I did not like where it was heading, so okay. I just stopped playing it. Okay. But, um, I do hope for Symphony of the Night because it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. And see, I feel like you're right on Castlevania because they put the 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 pick the GIF picture that they have. To be is fair, the, the Red G- Moon. Yeah, the GIF is literally the Castlevania, so I feel like that's almost guaranteed. And, yeah. So like, and I mean like that thing in the back. I mean it kind of looks like a cloud. It Dra- looks like a rock, but it's Dracula's cas- castle. It's Dracula's castle, just like kind of like slanted. That looks o- almost exactly like the Netflix show. Yes. Oh my god. It looks a lot like it. Honestly, it could be. Who could knows? be. Could be. It could be. I think we've squeezed enough information we can so, out of this. Demon Souls in Castlevania. Take it to the bank. Take All it right? to the bank. Take it to the bank. Moving on. To the top 20 P, uh, PS4 most downloaded games. Ooh. Um, so, this is the download chart. Okay. Um, and this is a very, very intriguing month, I think. And we're going to we're gonna break this down. Okay. Okay. Now, I did want to get Xbox One as well, but they don't post stuff like PS4 does, and I could not find it anywhere. <laughs> so, I don't know if anyone just doesn't care or if they don't post things like they do. Yeah. Okay. So, this is the PS4 down. So... This is the full full list PS4 PSVR games in North America. Basically, this is MPD ch- like charting things and seeing how much things sell. All right. In the month of October, okay? Number 1, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Number 2, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Damn. Number 3, Outer Worlds. Number 4, EA Sports FIFA 20. Number 5, Minecraft PlayStation Still Portage. Up there. Number six, NBA 2K20. Number seven, Madden NFL 20. Mm. Number eight, Grand Theft Auto Still 5. Still kicking, man. Number nine, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Number 10, Borderlands 3. Number 11, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Number 12, Mortal Kombat 11. Number 13, Red Dead 2. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Number 14, Rocket League. Number 15, God of War. Number 16, Marvel's Spider-Man. Number 17, WWE 2K20. <laughs> number 18, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Number 19, The Force. The Force. Number 20, NHL 20. Damn. Alex, number two is what I am most intrigued about. Now, Break see, point. I think it's because everybody thought it was going to be good. For sure. And so they're like, oh, new Tom Pilots a game. Download, download, download. 100%. And guess what? Has that a couple days? No. 100%. I know for a fact people so excited for the game. Yeah. So excited. Yep. And it fell off a cliff. Yep. No one talking about it. You know, honestly, I thought about turning it on today to try it. Mm-hmm. I went to Need for Speed. <laughs> I'm not interested in it. I'm probably going to eventually, but I am no rush. I have too many other games too many that other I, want games. To, I want to touch on. Yep. Um, Out of Worlds. Yeah. Good for that, them. I was, wanted to go back it to that. It charted on PS4. That's pretty good. Yeah. Because they have the deal with Microsoft on the, the Game Pass. I'm sure they're yeah, making money off that. That's so, crazy. I mean, that's just extra gravy for Microsoft. Yeah. Crazy that they're basically selling a Microsoft game. Yeah. It's really interesting. FIFA 20, number four. Impressive. For mm-hmm. a re-release. I'm surprised. No offense. I'm surprising it's doing, I'm surprised, excuse me, that it's doing more than Madden. Yeah, FIFA's huge. Apparently, that's crazy. People love soccer, man. Apparently, there's like one billion people who watch like the World Cup. That's or something that's like that, crazy, which is insane. And uh, apparently, some Americans when they actually care about the world, like I can watch baseball before I can watch soccer. Ooh, I agree. I disagree. Really? I think I could watch. I don't know. I'd never sat down and actually watched that. See, game I used to watch one. baseball all the time with my grandpa. 
So and I've been to baseball games, so I understand it more than soccer. I can't sit there and watch soccer. It's just, I'm still trying to figure out what the timer does. Now the games it's though. It's counting up. Where is it going to? I never what, figure it out. For soccer or yeah, for soccer. Oh. Mm. Counts up. Yeah, it it's goes. Yeah, um, it's Minecraft is number five. Dude, it's crazy. I, think dude, it's, I wonder if it's because that new Minecraft I remember, stuff that's coming out. Dude, I remember when I saw they bought Minecraft, Xbox, mm-hmm. Microsoft, sorry, Microsoft, yeah. bought Minecraft for, I think, $1 billion. And I went, you guys are crazy. No, it is it. 2019, and it is still charting <laughs> num- top five top downloaded games. And it is still charting. And also, they merchandising everywhere. It sold a crab on Switch, apparently. Mm-hmm. It sold, still sells a crab on Xbox One, I have no doubt. Because they get all the people who have been... There's still a thriving YouTube community around Yes, yeah, oh my god, there's still a bunch. Thriving. And I'm sure people watching streams and things like that. Yeah. Um, NBA 2K20. People love NBA. Yeah. I, I heard this year was good, apparently. Yeah. Um, uh, as long as you like gambling. <laughs> That's a joke from me. Uh, number eight, Grand Theft Auto Five, Dude. People are still going. There's, 2013 there's old, is when that game came out. That game is six years old. They're still, dude, they still keep adding add-on stuff. Like they just recently added a whole new thing after the casino thing. Dude, I thought, I thought that game was not dead. Mm-hmm. But I thought I, because it's never been dead ever since the online game. It's yeah. never been dead. What I'm saying is, I thought the game would at least slowly die out since Red Dead Two was out. So they're now competing against themselves. Mm-mm. With the same, almost the same game. I mean, I guess they're different in a lot of ways, but that's like om- they're almost the exact same game. Yeah, that's wild, insane, preposterous. So uh, Minecraft, I was just trying to look up what, you no, know, when the PS4 version came out to it. It was in t- September 18, 2014. So it's been they're five early. years. They went out. They came. They wanted to make sure that was almost launch. I was like, yeah. So it was a. It was yeah. So it was a, a year. It was after. a year after launch, and yeah. uh, Minecraft came to PS4, and it's still in the top five. Happy to see God of War and Spider Man. Yes, Still oh top my god, 20. yes, phenomenal games, dude. God, so good. Rocket League, good for them. Yeah, just made that big money because they got bought by Epic. Yep. Um, Black Ops Four. Did you like Black Ops Four? It was fine. Yeah, I didn't play it. Modern Warfare, so much better. Borderlands Three, number ten. Not bad, I guess. We play. We, uh, we. I mean, it was fun. It's just I'm, I. I don't. Care it came out in September, right? I'm not crazy. Yeah, September okay. 15. Making sure. I was like, wait, it didn't launch this month. Because if it did, that's really bad. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was September 15. I'm, the, the Tom Cancy's really, really messes with me. Ah, dude, yeah. But I guess it was I think this, it was that overhyped. Hyped. It was yeah. that hyped. And it just fell off. I mean, the I'm surprised the uh, Siege is good. I'm, it's at 11. I mean, it's still up there, at least. No, yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah. I mean, Siege has been out for a little while. Yeah, but it gets constant updates. So I can, it does, I guess yeah, because it's mostly that. it's all online. So Yeah. All right, that's it. That's it, Alex. That yeah. is, yep, that's the week. Stay tuned for a lot of things throughout the week. Um, next week, what we'll probably we'll get it out regularly scheduled on Fridays, but we will have a couple extras. We will have the Death Stranding spoiler cast as soon as possible. I want to try and get that up Wednesday. I don't know. We'll have to mm. figure it out. Maybe me and Alex can beat it um, throughout the weekend. Yeah, maybe. Um, maybe. Uh, we'll get we don't through know how that. long it is. Yeah, have, have, have they said thirty hours? Is what's, yeah. I've heard some people's completion time. It's not hours. too bad. So I want to see if I can get through that, get our spoiler cast up. Yeah. Um, and I want to do let's gauge the audience real quick. Top ten games of the 2010s. Get that. Get that. List that ready, Alex. Oh, the, so the, oh, top the 10 games for yourself for the 2010s. Mm-hmm. Also. So between 2010 and now for this for the for the for the, uh, for the yes. century. Yes. Gotcha. For the, yeah. Well, no. Decade. decade. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. And then. On top of that, we need to get our game of the year list ready. I'm going to wait. Man. I'm going to make it, I think. I'm going to prep it. But then I'll know when Star Wars comes out for sure. That's that's my thing, dude. It's like, because right now. Star Wars, Pokemon, Death Stranding are the three games I'm waiting to come out. Yeah, because, I mean, right now, everything was just in the beginning of the year. And, I mean, it, has a, it wasn't much. Mm-hmm. So, like, right now, it's it's still. There hasn't been a Spider-Man God of War for me. No, same. I mean, I mean, yeah, like, I mean Kingdom like, Hearts oh. was great. So oh, yeah, it was but great. That was in February, January. Yeah, January. So, I mean, yeah, that was a long time ago. <laughs> hmm. Wait with anticipation, please. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for listening. As always, you head over to patreon.com slash easyachievers to help us out. Give us a buck. Helps us a lot. Gets your exclusive podcast every month. We still need to do that one. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, every Friday, 
YouTube podcast service. Get it early if you give it to us on Patreon as well. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you. Y'all have a good day. Bye.